so our red belted polypore percolation is going. We've added all of our menstruum, the water and alcohol together, slowly on top of the herbs and it soaked all the way through the herb, all the way down. And now we've adjusted the stopper to be dripping at about one drop per three seconds. And we're getting a really beautiful color. And this has been going for about 20 minutes. That beautiful, rich, deep color. These liquids, the alcohol and water, when we put them into the plant material, were clear. So we know we're getting an awesome extraction. It's like a caramely red color. And this is a red belted polypore. So it's like a medium um, red brown color on top. And then a thick, almost like white or sawdust color mushroom body underneath so super fun to see what the percolator is doing so this has only been going for about 10 hours overnight and we will see as it continues okay here we are with part two of our red belted polypore extraction we showed you the videos of the percolation that took place over about about 24 hours it took in total to percolate through the percolator and then we took all of our plant material we call that our mark that had been kind of soggy from all of the alcohol and water going through it and this is what you'll see as called a double extraction so why we're doing this with the mark that had the alcohol already extracted through it is we want the polysaccharides, which are water soluble. So we're doing a really low simmer. Um, I might even turn the flame down a little. Um, with all of our plant material that we used already, we separated off the alcohol. Um, so we have a nice alcohol tincture, but what we're gonna do is boil this for about two hours um, basically reduce it down until it's like a sludge and then we will strain off all the plant bits all the mushroom and we'll have like a goopy polysaccharide rich medicinal water extraction that we will add then to our tincture and then we will have a proper double extraction of a medicinal mushroom red belted polypore how fun is that Okay, everybody, here we are. Our red belted polypore has finished um, steeping in the hot water. Look at that, sludgy. And here is our tincture that we did through the percolator. And so I'm going to take this sludge through some filtration and we will add it back in together and have a double extract. And here we're taking our sludge and packing it in a little filter. And bring it over here. We're just gently pressing it out. What we're extracting is this beautiful caramely colored, rich, polysaccharide rich mushroom extract. Okay, everybody, so we are ready. We have pressed out our liquid from our water extraction, and this is getting more of the polysaccharides and other chemical constituents in the mushroom that don't get extracted in alcohol. So here we have our alcohol extract from yesterday's percolation. And what we're doing here is measuring. So we got just above 400 milliliters of a tincture extract. And since this was our first time doing it, um, I definitely wrote notes on what my ratios were of water to alcohol. So we got a total of 412 um, milliliters of percolation extract. 
of that, my menstruum, the liquid portion that went through the percolator, through the plant material, was 60%, 95% uh, organic grape alcohol. So basically 100% alcohol and 40% pure water. So it was a 60-40 ratio in here. Now, I don't wanna add all of this water um, from our water extraction back into the tincture nilly willy because that will throw off the um, preservability of the ratio. So basically I did math to make it a 50-50 um, ratio for our dual extract. So I'm only gonna add in 82 milliliters of our water. So I know that that math um, was a little complex, but basically what we are gonna end up with is a total of 494 milliliters total of extract. Of that, I want 50% of it to be pure alcohol. And so that'll give us 247 milliliters of alcohol. And then including the water that went through here and the water that went through here, we want that to be 50%, so 247. So because there was already some water that went through the percolation, we included that in our math. And so what was left is that 82 milliliters to bring our water content up to 247. So here we go. I'm going to measure. There we go. And there we go. Look at that. It almost looks like a really delicious coffee, but it's not. Um, so I'm gonna grab a spoon and stir this up and then we, that's our complete um, double extracted red belted polypore tincture. Okay, everybody, so there we have it. There is our dual extract red belted polypore tincture. And as you can see, once I mixed it up, um, it's gloopy and awesome and smells like the mushroom, which is really fun. We, for our first percolation, I think we did pretty good. Um, I also wanted to show everyone the actual mushroom that this came from. So it was a really big mushroom that I harvested up um, in Flagstaff and it was growing Kind of on the north side of a hill and you know how well you can see in there but so that's the top of it and if the tree is like this i'll post a picture of it later it grows kind of on the side um and it's a polypore and it's really hard to see but if you look you can see these like porous stacked veins um, and the cap is this beautiful reddish brown varnish and um, then this woody like sawdust underneath. So it grows like this and it's real big and super hard. Uh, I was snowshoeing, it was in the winter and I had a pocket knife and that's all I had. And it was just, it was like a cat. It was like just out of reach. So I'm up there like, you know, it was some good herbal effort. Um, and a lot of gratitude for these mushroom friends. So it gave us a lot of medicine in this tincture and we still have plenty more to either tincture or tea. So thanks for joining us at Floral Energetics Apothecary in Sedona, Arizona, and we hope to see you again soon. Bye. <music>